kids. What animals do you know that live in cold places? What comes to mind when you think of animals that live in the snow? Well, I can think of one that I love. It's called a penguin. I'm gonna read you a short little bit about penguins today and then you get to make your very own penguin to play with. How fun is that? All right, here's the page about penguins. This is from my book called Where Animals Live. Penguins. The South Pole is the coldest place on Earth. But many penguins live there. Special feathers keep them warm in the water and on land. Penguins lay eggs on land. The father emperor penguin balances the egg on his feet. It stays warm there until it hatches. So the daddy penguins are very important to keep the babies warm while they're in the egg. And the mom, I think, usually goes off looking for food so that when the baby is born, there'll be something to eat. So what did you learn about penguins from that? Did you find out about where they live? It said they live on the south pole of the earth, right? So if the earth is like a ball, they live on the bottom side of that ball. And that's one of the very coldest places you could be. The bottom and the top of the earth are the coldest places, right? Not many people live there. It's more animals like penguins. And did you learn about how penguins keep warm in all that cold? What do they have on their bodies that keep them warm? Do they have a thick coat of fur? No, a penguin is a type of bird right? And what do birds have that cover their bodies? They have feathers, right? They have special feathers that keep them warm even in the icy cold water. Pretty amazing. We're going to make our very own penguins today and they're going to be super cute. <laughs> so here's what you need to make your penguin. In your bag you have a small paper plate. You also have some little eye stickers that look like this. And you have a piece of orange paper. So the first thing you need to do is fold your paper plate. Your parents could help you with this because you want to fold it in such a way that you have wings and a head. So think of these as being your wings. And then go ahead and fold down the top and think of that little part as being the head of the penguin. So those are the wings and that's the head, okay? And then you're going to use your orange, well actually, you can take out your stickers and stick them right on the head, right? And then go ahead and use your orange paper to make a beak and maybe make some feet for your penguin. So the beak would come off here and the feet down here. And then use your colors, your markers or paints, to add some color to your penguin. Does your penguin have to be black and white? Or could you do something totally different? Sure, you can make a rainbow penguin. You could make a pink penguin. You can make your penguin however you want because this is your art. And it doesn't have to be a black and white penguin, like a real penguin. So. I started coloring mine with pink wings. Maybe I'll do the body a different color. So have fun with it, because after you're done making your penguin, you can play with your penguin. And you can make him walk around. You could even make him a little egg to hold on his feet, or however you want to play penguin. Bye for now. See you next time.